Ah, oh, fuck. Where? We're on the grounds. We fell asleep out of here? Well, that'd be a first. I didn't realize how tired we were. We both probably pushed it. I'm going to need a hot bath to relax the stiffness. Care to join me after we get everyone fed? All right now. Where the fuck is Alroy? <whistles> Alroy! He better not be fucking with the hotheads again. Whatever. I'll deal with his tail later. Come on. Let's go do our rounds. We're already behind. What the? Hey. What the hell are you doing sleeping on the job? There are dragon stalls that need to be cleaned. Hey, are you fucking listening to me? What's this? While well, they're stupid, they're not stupid enough to drink on the job. If there's one thing that doesn't mix with fire, it's alcohol. <laughs> doesn't smell like anything. Just water. What the fuck is going on? Something isn't adding up. First we wake up passed out on the grounds, only to find all the damn wranglers and stall workers out of it. Wait. Do you hear that? Exactly. I don't hear anything either. Fuck. The dragons. Alroy! Alroy! Here, boy! Gone! They're all fucking gone! The tamed ones, the hotheads, even the babies and the eggs! Fuck! We'll get nowhere on foot, and there isn't a horse for miles here. We're going to have to call the twins. Don't you remember the twins I gave those twin dragons to? Their names are Vulcan and Vesta. They're the only other tamers around these parts. We have to send up a flare that they can see from the mountains. I need you to help me grab the crates that I have stacked where the lanterns are. I'm going to go around and see if anyone is starting to stir and see if I can get anything from them. Meet me on the main grounds. Do not open the crates until I get there. Everyone is still out of it. No one knows what happened. They all just remember feeling extremely tired and next thing they knew they were waking up on the grounds just like we were. There isn't a sign of what caused it, but we'll deal with that later. First, we need to get a hold of some dragons. These are dragon flares. They're altered with dragon scale dust to make the colors vibrant even in the daylight. It also adds a nice loud crack to the flare once it pops. The twins won't miss these for sure. And even if they do, I know that their people will see it and alert them. Here, put these in your ears. Sheep's wool and clay. This won't be fun to listen to. The alterations make them loud as hell. Add any part of a dragon to anything, and it's bound to have some kick. You ready? First flare up. Second flare up. Third flare up. Now, we wait. Am I alright? I'm far from alright. I want to take a knife to the throat of every single pathetic excuse for a fucking human that dared to touch my dragons and watch them bleed out. I'm sure the blood will do wonders for the wildlife. Afterwards, I can use their decaying bodies as fertilizer for that little herb garden you started. I can still be calm because I know that it won't do you any good to be around that.
I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And you can do the worrying for both of us. That's less dangerous anyway. Yes, less dangerous. Do you think I'm going to let you come with me to hunt these fuckers down? Absolutely not. That's out of the question. I wasn't giving you an option, Rose Petal. You forget that this is my training ground with my dragons. This is between me and them. Don't be difficult with me. You are by my side almost always, sure. But you are also mine, and you listen to me. While I don't have a dragon that can take you away, I can haul your ass up and over my shoulder if you aren't careful. You're staying here, and that's final. Rose Petal, you're testing my patience and I don't have time for this. <clears throat> Keep struggling all you want over my shoulder. You aren't going anywhere. I've held dragons twice your size down and they breathe fire. Last time I checked, the only fire that comes out of your mouth is your sarcasm. I'm taking you back to the house. <laughs> you underestimate how prepared I am for anything. Don't think I'm just going to drop you back off to the house and expect you to stay put. I'm disappointed that you think I don't know you. <clears throat> don't get any ideas, Rose Petal. As much as I'd love to make use of the bed right now, this isn't where you're going to be staying. Didn't notice the trap door underneath the bed, did you? Good. That's the point. Now sit pretty on the bed for me while I open this up. If you try to run away, Rose Petal, I will catch you, and I won't be happy with you. Now be good, and come to me. You trust me, right? You trust that I'm only doing what's right for you. That I'm only doing what's going to keep you safe. All right then, come here. I promise, it isn't scary down here. I've made it quite comfortable. Here we are then. I made this room to serve many purposes. For right now, it's meant to keep you safe and out of my way until I get to the bottom of this shit. Yes, that means you aren't going to be leaving this room. I'm locking it from up above, and only I have the key. You have everything you need down here. Food, water, books, journals, and so on. I don't know how long I'll be gone, but this will guarantee to be comfortable for at least two weeks, but I doubt I'm going to take that long. Rose Petal, as much as I want to make you happy, your safety comes before your happiness. I'd rather you be unhappy and safe than happy and possibly killed. You have to trust me. I've been dealing with this all of my life. I know what I'm doing. I've worked alone all of my life. I know I'm not alone anymore, but I'd rather not be alone after if something were to happen to you. So stay here. Entertain yourself while I'm gone. I've already instructed everyone to stay the fuck away from here, so trying to call for help won't work for you either. With that, I'll make it up to you, I promise. I'm going to wait for the twins and have them saddle me with one of their fastest dragons. I'll be back for you, and I'll have a swarm of dragons behind me. You know you can always count on me. Alright, slug. I should have known that your tamers were fucking around with your name. I'm sorry I doubted your speed. You have to forgive me, boy. You know as well as I do the twins are unpredictable. I'll give you a nice treat after this shit is all over with. Nicer than what those brats probably feed you. Right now, we have to head to the South Mountains. 
The twins said that they caught word that there has been an unusual amount of dragon activity. They've had their hands full and haven't been able to check it out, hoping that I would catch word of it. Who knew that they'd be the ones giving me the word instead? Seems like a good start. Let's go. Good boy, Slug. The mouth of the cave isn't too far from the ledge. What I want you to do now is circle the peak while I take the lead and make sure that you're safe. This whistle is annoying as hell, I know, but it's silent to human ears. I won't blow it for long, but you can't hesitate for a moment, you got that? Alright, up you go. Alroy, you better have been giving them hell for me. No sign of the fuckers responsible for this. It looks like the poachers made new friends. They don't have the brains to pull off this big of an operation. Those look like potions on the table. It would explain how our entire grounds was wiped out. They must have drew up the water supply. It was probably how they were able to haul the dragons out of the grounds too without too much of a fuss. Oh boy, that's my boy. You irritate the shit out of them. There's Rose Petal's dragon. What are they? They knew they couldn't fuck with Alroy easily, so they're using her instead. No, 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 no. no. Ah! Hey, fuckers! Hasn't anyone told you how to treat a lady? <laughs> you know this fight is really unfair. One against six? Where's the dignity? <clears throat> hey, Alroy. Beautiful girl. Don't make those noises. You're acting like I'm losing. <clears throat> I'm going to get you both and the rest of the dragons out of here. Just hang on. <clears throat> Slug. Shit! You know that dragon whistle was a family heirloom, and you just threw it off the cliff. You fuckers aren't going to get away with this. You know, I take back the family heirloom thing. I really don't need to go get it. So if you could just... Fuck! No!